On number one, check the appropriate boxes for your case. For number two, if you and the respondent are married and there is no pending action for dissolution, legal separation, or nullity in court, check box A. If you and the respondent are not married and have signed a voluntary declaration of paternity regarding the child and there is no pending action in any other courts, check box B. If you and the respondent are not married and have legally adopted a child together, check box C. If you and the respondent have been determined to be the parents in juvenile or governmental child support case, check box D and fill in the information regarding your case. On number three, list the children you are filing custody and support for from youngest to oldest. Number five is important to fill in correctly and what is marked can't be changed once it gets to the judge. The question is asking who you want to take legal and physical custody of the children. If you want sole custody, check the petitioner box in letter A and B. If you want your spouse to have sole custody, check the respondent box in letter A and B. If you want both you and your spouse to have custody, check joint in letter A and B. If you want legal custody, but want both you and your spouse to have joint, check petitioner on letter A and joint in letter B, etc. for any other variation of child custody rights you want. If you want visitation for yourself or your spouse, check which box fits your wants on letter C. If none of these options fit your wants, read through letters D through H. On number eight, write down any other concerns you want the judge to know involving your case. At the bottom, date, print, and sign your name.